What's up guys? Uh, Kevin here. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna commit to myself to uploading this video. I have not uploaded in four months or so. I've recorded like three or four videos in between there, but I just, I just haven't felt very good about recording those. And I think it was just, I don't know, I got in my head and stuff. Uh, so I'm going to make a promise to myself, upload this video. Uh, I guess it doesn't really even matter. I'll probably be the only one seeing this video, but I'm talking to myself again. Let's go! So this is going to be my pickups. Um, I haven't done a pickups video in a while. Uh, I thought this was very quick, very digestible, and uh, I guess let's get started. I don't want to waste any of your guys' time. First one on the list, oh, and by the way, these are probably going to be mostly footwear, is the Asics Gel Light 3. This is from Ronnie Five. Uh, he did a collection of, I think, 30 different colorways, most of them mono, monotone or at least uh, very tonal. Here's a close-up. This is, I forgot what colorway, but I believe it was the Helium. Um, I've been using these as just beaters. Honestly, I've been getting a lot of Asics shoes for a crazy steal. I think I got this for like 80 bucks. Um, very, very good shoe, very, very comfortable shoe. Uh, after they redid the shape of the Gel Light 3, it fits definitely more true to size. Um, I really like this quality quality. I've been using this as just like my everyday driver or beater shoe. Uh, if I wanted like a runner. Uh, I guess sticking with uh, the basics, this is the I4P uh, A611. I believe this is the 1130, right? Yes, the 1130. I'm sorry for those people that messaged me what these shoes are and I said the 1150. Nope, they're the 1130. They are a Korean brand. Um, they are just a simple shoe. I really liked the knitting material that they used as well as just the colorway is very, very clean. I believe there is a black and cream version of this, but I think this is the better of the shoe or better of the two colorways. Uh, very clean, very comfortable. I would say big true to size, just came in a big box. I think I got this off of like Goat or something like that. Uh, comes with an extra pair of darker laces, dark gray laces. And yeah, they're going for a moderate amount. I think when I picked it up, I think it got mine for like 160 or something like that. Um, but since they are an Asia exclusive, I'm assuming people are gonna mark them up. Also, sorry if it's a little bit echoey, just moved into a new place. This is the, this is one that I've been waiting for for quite a few months. The HAL Studios 1130. I think ASICS is really trying to push the 1130 because I believe Pico also did a compares, but this is probably my favorite of the bunch. Really, really like the paneling of this, the materials, this has been fantastic. Um, the quality of this is really, really nice. Uh, I am hoping that the other colorway will be coming out. There is, so this is more like that desert sort of tan lotion looking colorway. And then there's also a green colorway that should be coming out, hopefully. Um, made by an Australian streetwear company, Hal Studios, which is a branch off from High and Low, which I believe is a store also in Australia. Super, super nice. Uh, I really like the back tabs. If you guys want me to do any sort of uh, detailed look of any of the stuff that I have, please leave a comment and I will try and do a detailed review. Comes with two extra rope laces. All that stuff is really nice. So that was all the ASICs. Let me move on to the Vans. I know these came out a bit ago, but haven't shown them off. These are the Vans Style 36 No Tray Collab. This is the green tea or matcha colorway. I've really, really liked these. Um, I, I actually recorded a review video for both this one and the tea colorway that I also have. Um, and I'm still debating whether or not to upload it. I felt some sort of way, but I may just push through and upload it. But I really like these shoes. It has nothing to do with the shoes. The shoes are really, really nice. Um, I like these a lot more than the old schools that came out uh, the year prior. I still think that the OG old schools are really, really nice, um, but I love the inspiration behind it. 
great quality laces. I know that's a stupid thing to nip on, but the laces are really good. Here is the T colorway. Uh, after the porcelain uh, set that they also dropped. Look at how nice those laces are. Very, very nice. Um, very quality. I've been wearing the, I would say I like the blue colorway more, but I've been wearing the green a bit more. Sticking with the bands, I have an awesome collaboration that I wish I got the full set. Here's the Blends uh, Skate High. Really, really, really like this shoe. I was really, as you can see, I've been putting a decent amount of miles into it. Um, probably one of my favorite pickups of the past few months. Really, really like the quality of it. Um, one of the big, big, big positive things for me is the comfort of it. I've never really liked the comfort of the bands, but this one has a comfy cushion insole. So this makes it like, so much, so much more um, comfortable, I would say. Uh, in hindsight, I may also pick up the old school, which I really, really like those as well. These only released through Raffle, um, as well as in Asian retailers. Originally, this was supposed to be an Asia exclusive, but Blends got a small allocation to Raffle off in the States. And I was able to get the black skate high as well as the chili peppers, which I haven't worn these obviously, but I really like, honestly online, I didn't really like the chili peppers, but in person, I think the chili peppers are actually really, really nice. Uh, the quality of both of these, excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, these are, uh, I would suggest go true to size. If anything, if you, um, don't have wide feet, I have wider feet, I would size down maybe half, just because a lot of the blend stuff does tend to fit a little bit bigger, um, but the ultra cushion sole or the comfy cushion sole uh, makes the, the fit a bit more true. One collegium, or I guess two collegium pickups. Here is the collegium prism blue. These are so, so nice. Um, I remember when Nick was showing them off on his, I believe it was IG story. He's made quite a few posts about it. He actually had the sample a really, really long time ago. Uh, and this is actually my second Prism, or not Prism, my second Destroyer pickup. Uh, this, honestly, compared to the, I think it was the Platinum, was the one that I got originally. I really, really like these. And it's not just because it has the Fragment colorway, although, that is very, very nice having, um, but I feel like the quality of this is super, super nice. I could just be in my head, but I almost feel like the quality that they use is so much better on this pair compared to the Platinum version. Um, I may make a separate video just specifically on this, but like one of the quick things is I felt like the, the leather construction felt a lot softer, the tongue tab feels a lot softer, and uh, it feels like there's more cushion. I don't know if it's just in my head since I don't have my old pair to compare, um, but really, really like this one. I know that they did a pre-order as well as they made like a shattered backboard inspired colorway, but I really like this guy. I have been, as soon as I got it, I pretty much put it on and these are really, really nice to have. sure they will but this is if I remember correctly the pillar combat boot and this is a collaboration between Mark uh, who owns a brand maybe tomorrow but this is sort of a combat boot slash Virgil kind of Mark inspired um, I know Mark has done these sort of 
extra almost mountain or outdoor inspired sort of lace holes on docks uh, a while back but these are very very nice really like them i've been wearing them a decent amount i actually prefer these over some other boots that are out there just because the toe feels a lot nicer i like the real slim profile of it from top down um, also another thing is that the laces are like bungee elastic so you can tie up these secondary laces and then have them a little bit looser and then you can just slip your foot in so that's one of the things i found really annoying with boots although some people may like it i find it a little bit annoying to un unlace and relace all over again so i'm i'm a big big fan of these collegium uh, pillar boots these are the only boots that i have in my rotation slash collection and i really really like them i hope they release more of these uh, I remember it selling up pretty quickly, and but I haven't really seen any videos on it, so very, very nice. I have uh, two New Balance pickups. You already know with this one. The Teddy 990V3. Uh, they are very, very nice, inspired by the OG colorway. Um, I really, really like the suede on them. They did an amazing job material-wise. I have heard some weird things about QC where the tongue, I know the V3, it's supposed to have this sort of almost like webbing look, which I've never seen having an issue before this uh, release. I remember some of them being like, there, yeah, it's a little bit hard to see, but you can see how the webbing's pretty much non-existent. I've seen some pairs that are really, really bad, but mine are kind of okay. Um, I actually have two pairs of them and the other one is a little bit more apparent, but I haven't worn these yet. Um, I don't I don't know internally whether or not I want to keep them just because uh, there are a few other New Balance shoes that I'd rather have instead of these, especially the green John ones, even though those ones are like 500. But yeah, these ones are very, very nice in terms of like quality and the materials. I almost feel like the quality of this one is a lot better than the Jowns, just because the amount of like buzz and like nap that the suede has is quite thick, as well as the thickness of the suede is quite nice as well. Um, came with just nice cream laces. I'm always a big fan of nicer, higher thread count laces. And the other color, or the other pair that I have, this one was a little bit more controversial, I would say. I gotta get these secondhand, but I really like two colorways from this collection. This is the size New Balance 550. Um, I really like this colorway a lot. This is probably my top pick, as well as the second one would probably be the cream and green ones that everybody like. I'm not a big fan of the brown, of the dark brown ones, uh, while these ones are quite nice. I do really like the suede that they have here. Not a big fan of this like new buck here, but they do have Cordura fabric underneath, so it gives it some level like water resistance, water proofing, but obviously with a shoe that has like an open uh, hole, it won't be very uh, snug, but the laces are really nice. Uh, these are outdoors inspired. I really like the laces. Kind of reminds me of the uh, Union Jordan 4s, yeah. Which those are also inspired by like ACG and like outdoor stuff, but very nice. Have to get them secondhand again. Uh, I think these are the only pair of 550s that I have. I'm not a big fan of 550s. I know I've had the ALV ones, but this one as well as the other size 550 are probably the only ones that I really, really like. Next up is uh, from Nike. I, now that I'm looking at it, I do have a decent amount of pairs from Nike, but this is a collection from quite a few months ago. So, but obviously the first one I'm showing you is quite recent. This is the Cold Wall Vomero. I've had these a while ago and then I let them go and then I realized how good they were. Um, so pick these guys back up. I really like the utility of the elastic laces again. Um, the only part is, is that I know that this huge block on the back is a little bit awkward. Uh, at least I find it a little bit awkward. And I know people have cut it off, but I feel like I'm kind of warming up to it. I like the very weird shape of it and how it gives it more dimension in the back. Otherwise, it will just be very 
uh, I would say, streamline in the back. Ama Manier, Jordan 1s. I don't really know if I have to introduce this shoe. Very clean shoe. I have the threes, but the ones I think are quite nice. I feel like I wear the ones more than the threes just because I feel like the, the shape of the threes is nice, but I end up just gravitating towards the ones more. Just they're more simple, they're cleaner. Um, yeah, but they're very, very nice. Again, nice laces. Uh, the material is a little bit awkward, I would say, just because like I'm not, I really like the plushness of like a suede or like a leather. Um, this rough sort of cracked leather slash coated suede is a little bit weird in terms of like material feel. I really like the concept of it, but yeah, quite nice. Next up is kind of an interesting pickup um, that if you were to tell me like, as a young sneakerhead in high school or even like early college that I would be able to own this pair, I would be, I'd be like, no way. But this is the Watch the Throne LeBrons. This is, this is crazy. I know it's not exactly like the original, um, just because I believe the LeBron, well, LeBron retros are a little bit shorter in height, but this is, this is a, this is a grail level shoe for me. I haven't worn these yet, but it's just the fact that I, that they re-released this is like kind of crazy. Just like, I know like a lot of people are like, bro, like they're like bricks. Like, what are you talking about? But like these, these when like, you were there when they came out, these went crazy. These, and I really hope they release the elite version of the, oh man, like that'd be so, so so sick but i know that they just released the big bangs um i was a fan of those i really release really really hope they release the galaxy kobe's those are like so good i know this is this is stupid they even came with the little lace toggle that's that's so sick i, I don't know like this is an era that i really look fondly back on and i really wish it's like it's like one of those meme moments where it's like bro wake up like it's like it's like 2013 and you know, like Kanye is touring with Jay-Z on Watch the Throne and all this other stuff. I it just, I get nostalgic over it, even though it wasn't that long ago. Wait, it's been almost a decade. It has been a while. But anyways, I'm getting old. Um, really like these. I haven't worn them yet, but I definitely will soon. I just mentioned Union Jordans and here is a Union Jordan. <laughs> uh, I picked these guys up in like a trade. It was a pretty decent trade. I traded my Fragment 3s, which were used for these Union 4s, which were used, um, I think these laces are from the Vans, but I really do like the laces. They're a tad bit short, but I'm gonna try and find alternative cream laces because I really like how the cream looks on this. Um, the owner undid the tongue, which I'm not mad at. It, it looks clean. I still have my other pair but I still have the tongue stitched like underneath, which for some reason I prefer that. Um, but this is fine, this is good. Um, the Desert Moss colorway I had before, I got it on sneakers and then this colorway uh, I sold and then I ended up buying it back, well, trading it back. Really like the ACG inspiration behind it. Almost done, it'll be a very quick last few ones. Pollen, Jordan ones, decent shoe. Okay, shoe. Um, I added the Foxtrot uniform lace holes just cause I thought it'd look pretty cool. And it kind of does. It was just a pain in the ass to do it. I don't wear these that often anymore. I thought I would. Um, the leather quality is actually not too bad. Not terrible, but not amazing either. Um, yeah, decent shoe. I know they're going for not much, so you guys can probably get a used pair for under retail. I have a double shoe acronym Nike Blazer Low. I really like the idea of it. The execution of it is nice. It's decent, uh, like good laces. I don't like the fact that they include like a weird dog tag that doesn't even like unscrew it probably properly. I have to do it with like an actual flathead for it not to scratch up the dog tag or whatever. 
Um, I've worn both of these, they're quite nice. I actually personally prefer this colorway. Uh, I know it's a bit loud, obviously. I've worn this hiking, uh, so it is a little bit more beat up, but I do prefer this colorway in terms of like aesthetics. Also, they kind of make you get, not make you, but obviously they have the better heel tab on the other pair, so they kind of want you to uh, buy both pairs. Um, I kind of wish that they went with the original ideation of it and had the heel collapsible. I know that there's like a trademark issue with it, so that's why they didn't do it. Another thing I really like is the cutout where this has the acronym Shuriken in it. Um, the only thing I wish they did better, it'd be pretty cool to see a blazer high. Um, I would have, because the whole point of having it be a low, I thought was so that it could collapse. If they're gonna do this sort of application, might as well give us a high and give us some crazy shit. Um, or a, a utility, I don't know, like a blazer, like weatherproofed or whatever. These guys have no sort of like weatherproofing. It's, I believe it's like a ballistic nylon, but the ballistic nylon is all cut up, so it's more aesthetic. Um, and then this one has like a suede. Okay, suede, you can get these for under retail at a lot of retailers or secondhand. But I do like the box design as well. Really like these. All right, on to the last three. Union Jordan 2s. Really like the Jordan 2 as like a model. Big fan of it. Um, I have very fond memories of the Don C era Jordan 2. Uh, this has like a nice like mill spec, uh, like sort of vibe. I know Chris mentioned that that was the original inspiration. Part of me feels like there's a huge opportunity that I think he could have gone. He could have gone like full mill spec and oh my God, an olive pair of these would just hit like an olive or like a drab while this one kind of has like those pops of color. So this gives me like a retro future type of vibe where it's like very bright and I understand the military inspo, but I kind of wish they went like full military. That'd be so sick. If they made like a double taps ask a double taps store into would be pretty sick too, where I don't know, like I just feel like this shoe, although I like it, it has a missed opportunity, but I can talk about that future video if I want to do so. I got this pair when they released. Jordan, one, fragment, low. Um, yeah, not much to say. I've, I've always wanted a fragment Jordan one, but I've definitely missed my curve for it because right now they're like six grand. And uh, to be fully honest, I picked this one up because it was like a Fragment Jordan. I know this is ridiculous, but I wanted the Fragment Jordan high so badly that I wanted, this isn't a bad consolation prize. There's no way I would want the Travis Fragment one highs. Those are like crazy expensive. But these ones, when they first released, they were around like nine, 900. And then I sold a few pairs to pay for this one. And I really, really like it. I actually have worn this a decent amount of times. Um, I've also put Foxtrot, uh, what are they, grommets, I believe. I thought it gave it like a cool, cool edge. And I don't know anybody else who's done it, um, just because it is such a pain in the ass. The leather is actually not too bad. Um, decent, uh, just not, it's like decent for retail, obviously, but um, let's see. Like what other shoes have better leather? Um, the Hal Studios has better leather. Um, it's probably on par with the Pollen Ones. The Vans Blends has better leather, better leather. Um, yeah, this next shoe has better leather. Oh, even, I mean the Collegiums, obviously they have better leather. So that one's made in Italy, but these ones I really like, just the color blocking. I did kind of wish they made the inside black, but a blue, a sports blue isn't bad. Now, I have one rebound to pick up. I have another one coming in soon, but this is the Club C to end all Club C's, Mr. Winston. 
get it out. The other color because super, super sick when you see it. Okay. I've worn these already, but the Terrell Winston Club C's. These are AKA the Club T's, AKA the Club Me's. Um, probably the best Club C out in terms of build quality and I feel aesthetics of it. Um, I may even cut off this tongue tab, just keep it one tongue tab because I really like the design of this, but or I can even cut it off and make it look super, super minimal, but I like the idea. Just fabric there. The leather quality is just like probably the best I've seen on a club. See, it has a uh, cow fur. I believe it's faux. Let me double check before I give it. Nope, it's a uh, real cow fur. So if you are vegan, I would avoid this shoe, but Real cow fur. I'm pretty sure this is also genuine leather. So, um, yeah, very, very nice. I I really like the stitching detail of it. It's very neat. His signature athlete's shoe. Really, really like this. Uh, if you guys want me to do a video comparing these with the Jowns and the Eames and, you know, some other pairs, uh, please let me know. But man, the all leather construction, stupid. The, the slightly green translucent outsole, stupid. Um, I also picked up the question mid and that should be in, in a few days. So maybe that. And that is all of the footwear pickups. Um, I may do another part two of like apparel pickups, but uh, I just wanted to do a quick video on it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, uh, please put in the comments what specific shoes do you guys want longer reviews on uh, I can definitely do that or I can like group I don't know like some of these in the same one but yeah thank you guys for sticking with me I will promise you I will try to get not I promise you that I'll try that sounds like yes I will get you guys more content I have been kind of in like an emotional slump I may talk about that later but yeah Thank you again. See you guys later. Peace.